Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a brand new Insider Preview build to the Canary Channel Insiders, which they made available as build 26252 late yesterday in my part of the world on the 10th of July. Now, if you are interested as to what Microsoft is working on uh, in this early preview build, just have a quick look at some of the changes and improvements. Now, first of all, um, Microsoft say they are beginning uh, to roll out the weather widgets to the lock screen, starting with this build, 26252 in the Canary Channel. And as you may well know, um, these so-called widgets give you dynamic updates that bring finance, um, traffic, sports, and so on uh, to the lock screen alongside the actual weather. And I have posted quite in depth on this, and uh, this has also rolled out to the stable version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. But the difference with this in the Canary channel for this week is that Microsoft says that the card design has been improved with acrylic blur, so we can actually see that acrylic blur uh, in these uh, in this image provided by Microsoft from the release notes. The card size has also been um, improved according to Microsoft. The spacing and the font font has been optimized. So a couple of small little changes been made to these um, widgets on the lock screen. And if you've been viewing this channel for any amount of time, you may well know that these lock screen widgets are not the most popular feature for a lot of users, because obviously, if you enable weather, you enable all of them. It's all or nothing. You can't enable individual uh, widgets. It's weather and everything else. Uh, the only way you can remove this is to turn the actual feature off and set it to none. But nonetheless, um, Microsoft say they've improved the uh, cards and widgets with acrylic blur. The card size has been improved spacing and font optimizations. Now, the next one is something I actually hope makes its way down to stable. Because currently, in the stable version of Windows 11, you cannot drag an app from your pinned section in the start menu and pin that to your taskbar, as you can see. Not available. No option to do that. And Microsoft says now you can also pin apps from the start menu to the taskbar by dragging and dropping items directly to the taskbar from the pin section in the start menu. So that's been tested in Canary, and I certainly hope that makes its way uh, into the stable version. And then the next uh, kind of uh, improvement, if you do find yourself in the Canary channel, Microsoft says the evaluation copy expiry date information is now visible under settings system about. So just take note of that if you do find yourself in the Canary channel. And then the last so-called new improvement just to mention for the purpose of this video is Microsoft say they are beginning to roll out a new energy recommendation for turning off HDR to conserve energy on PCs with HDR displays under settings, power and battery energy recommendations. And this, I actually think, was a hidden feature and is another indication that some of these hidden features actually make their way into official testing and then eventually could make their way down to stable. And I did post on this when it was a hidden feature and now it's made available for, um, for uh, official testing. And obviously, uh, this is handy for um, conserving energy, energy and system resources. If you do find yourself with a system that does have the applicable hardware to be able to run um, an HDR display and monitor. And then over and above that, guys, um, as normal, because it is early days, Microsoft is fixing a couple of issues in the Canary channel. Uh, that's with input, task manager and settings. And also because it is early days, as always, we do get um, some known issues which is common in these early preview builds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.